Hi guys and welcome to another Beaver Builder tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be adding photos and we're going to add them from the media library and we're also going to add them via a URL. So let's get started. I've got the Beaver Builder enabled. I've created a row with two columns. I'm going to hit the little plus icon and let's add a photo to our second row here. Just left click and drag it to where you want to put it. And it'll pop up with this little box and you've got some options. First one we'll do is we'll load one from the media library. The other option is from a URL. We'll do that in a moment. So we simply select the photo. And now I'm going to put a caption in here. And I'll show you why in a moment. And a description. Now select the photo. And there it is in there. Fantastic. Okay, you can choose to have it full size, thumbnail, which will be really small, medium, or large. I think large will probably do for this because it's not very big. Show title and attribute on mouse hover. Yes, let's do that. I don't know if we'll be able to see it until we actually save. And show caption. At the moment it's set to never. Let's show the caption on hover. Or the other option is to show it below the photo. There it is, my new C photo. Let's show it on hover. Now, link if you want to link your photo to a, another page or a website or anywhere else, you can select URL, Lightbox, Photo File, however you want to do it. URL, you can link it to anywhere, including other pages on your site. A Lightbox, which I'll select, which will blow it up and make it center screen so you can see a larger image of it. Now I've selected a light box. I think that image is still going to be big enough for it. Okay, let's move on to style. Now you can choose to crop the image or not here. Let's crop it to a square. And if you want to, you can make it a specific width in pixels. You can also use viewable width or percentages. Viewable width is a viewable width of whatever device it's being used on. So for this one, we've got a big desktop monitor, the viewable width of this. If it was viewing on an iPad or something, the viewable width would be so much, etc. I'm going to keep it aligned center. I don't particularly want a border. It's fun to have a, a shadow on there sometimes. If you want a radius, just simply put in a pixel value here, say 10. And as you can see, it's making a slightly curved corner there. I've only done that first corner, but I'm sure you can see that that's curved now. So let's delete that. I don't take want a, a radius on there. Okay, let's go down and let's give it a bit of box shadow. I'm gonna choose black, but I'm gonna take the opacity down a bit because shadows aren't usually black black unless it's full sunlight or something like that. Now the X is the left and right value. I'm going to leave that to zero. The Y is the up and down. So let's give it sort of 10 pixels below. As you can see that little shadows appeared there. The blur, again, I want a good blur on it. So let's try 10 pixels. Yeah, that's looking more and more like a shadow there. If you want it to spread more than that, you can put something in here, but I really don't. I'm happy with the way it's spreading at the moment. So I'll put that in to demonstrate. I'm going to take it away. And I think I'll take my opacity color here down even a little bit more. So it's there, but it's not quite so, so much. So it looks more like a shadow. There we go. That's fine for me. If you want it offset it, you could give it five picks or something. And you see it's offset it to the right hand side. You give it negative five picks and it should go back the other way. 
as you see it's gone the other side but I'm happy with it being central just drop below the image right there so I'm going to delete that great now the font obviously is for your description and what have you you can change it here I'm going to leave mine just as it is style and spacing again this is for your your font you can have it normal upper and lower capitalized or all lower change the decoration wise you can have it default none underline overline line through usual sort of font st styling options that you've got here normal italic oblique normal small caps now if you want text shadow you can also put that on there I don't want any of that at the moment in the advance at the moment we've got 20 pixels margin all around which for me that works absolutely fine don't need to mess with the break point um, you can have it break on different size screens but for a small image like that I don't think there's any real need display always again yeah that's fine animation well, let's have it um, have it slide in slide down there you go like that that's fine and again this is all entirely up to you now you can write some HTML around it if you want to you can give it an ID if you want to target it uh, by scrolling to it and you can give it a class if you want to add some extra CSS but we don't really need to do any of that today so let's save this and see what we've got Let's hit the done button, save draft. Now if I refresh the page, it slides in. When we hover over it, it shows our little description there, which is great. So that's how to add one from your media library. Exactly the same thing from a URL, but I'll do one. We won't bother decorating it, but we'll just uh, do one from a URL. So again, you want to hit the Beaver Builder once loaded let's go to our image we'll hit the edit button or the photo settings right here that'll bring up our little panel again let's go back to our general box now let's flip this photo source from media to URL now you can just about go anywhere and grab an image off of the internet I don't recommend you grab an image that you don't have permission for it's not a good idea so now we've got the URL obviously it's disappeared I've got Pexels, let's just get that out of the way. I've got Pexels, which is a great Pexels.com, great free stock photo site. You can get amazing photos there. I've just grabbed another a wave image. It really doesn't matter which one you do. Once it's open, you can right click on it and copy image address. And we can go back and just paste the URL in there. Now all the other options and there we are it's appeared there and it's still got all the the drop shadow and all the other styling features that we added when we did it from the media like I say the only thing you want to remember about loading f images from URLs if you don't actually control the site yourself that the images come from and they remove it or change it you're gonna lose your picture on your site so I mean for things like sites like Pexels it's it's fine but I mean, if you were to Google a picture of a wave and use it, for instance, let's go to images. Let's take this one. It's the first one there. I'll just click on it. Copy image address. Now let's put this in. Again, hit the little wrench or spanner icon there and change the URL to our new URL here. There's our new image, but if wherever that has come from decides they want to take it down, you're going to lose it on your website. So just bear that in mind if you're using URL images. Okay, so let's cancel that. And we're back to where we were. So that is how to add images both from your media library and from a URL using the fantastic Beaver Builder. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.